you can fill your component library with anything you find yourself using a lot that's uh, going to save you some time. Uh, for instance, here's a left-hand raised panel door. Um, it's 10 inches by 10 inches. Uh, it's kind of a mock-up. It allows me to resize it. I can do the math in my head pretty quickly. Uh, to resize it, I'll double-click to edit the component and draw a left-to-right selection box around the uh, top half here. You'll notice that only the uh, items that were completely included inside that box have been selected. Uh, that's opposed to a crossing box. If I went from right to left, we've got everything that's inside the box as well as any line that crossed it. We'll go back to that uh, bounding box, and now I'm going to grab the Move tool, and I'll move this up uh, in the blue direction. I started at 10 inches, so maybe we'll add uh, 8 for an 18-inch tall door. And I can do the uh, same thing with the width. Grab the Move tool, and we'll slide this over, say, 2 inches. So there's 12 inches wide. While I've got it open, I can even add hardware. Uh, I'll go into another library I've got. Here's the hardware. Here's a mission pull. doesn't really go with this uh, style of door, but uh, it's all I've got right now. Uh, now that it's in there, uh, the door's been resized. The hardware's on. I can place this in a set of kitchen cabinets or uh, built-in. Uh, whatever uh, I need, I can make copies of it. Uh, I, in the beginning I said this was a left-hand raised panel door. That's because it's dynamic. If I grab this tool here, you'll notice that it opens and closes. It's all set, ready to go into uh, whatever I want to put it in. Uh, another thing I've got is uh, some trim packages. Uh, here's a uh, Windsor One uh, window. It's got a uh, gluing plane and it's also got a cutting plane. You'll notice that uh, you can see through that window the uh, component actually cuts its own hole. I can move it around and it doesn't, uh, doesn't cut a hole in my wall where I don't want it. Use the same technique to uh, modify this window. If I uh, want to make it taller, we have the move tool and we'll slide it up in the blue direction. Uh, make it wider like this. I can even go around the back side of it and uh, I'll grab push-pull and uh, pull the jams out. If it's a deep opening, I need extension jams. All right, there's the front of it. The, um, the other thing, I can, I can modify the actual design. Say this is a very large opening and I want to uh, increase the size of the entablature to make it more in scale. I can just select the very top portion of it, grab the move tool and slide this up. Same thing with the casing legs, uh, if I need to make those wider. Now once I've resized this, if I find I'm going to use this opening size a lot or I'm going to use uh, that door size, I can just grab the uh, thumbnail that's in my model, change the name up here, and then drag it down into my library and it'll be saved. I can uh, use it over and over again.